And to find out who the winner is of our very first local sports star, uh, we got from North Staffordshire Press, Malcolm Henson. And the sports person is Phil Napalatea. Would you like to say a few words to Phil Napalatea? Yeah, we we'll put it on the spot here. As, uh, yeah, well, 15 times world champion, Stoke legend, what more can you say? I'll do, I'll do. I'm back to you. Don't take that and we'll give you the film next time. Okay, okay. Thanks to Mark and Phil the Six Sound Runner for being back to you. Yeah. To present Stoke Players of 2011, please welcome onto the stage Danny Smith. There's some more people in there. Just watch that man do it now. Over and over, whatever he's been drinking. Tell us, difficult to do that on radio, though, isn't it? But the player of the year of 2011, John Waters. Thanks a lot to Peter. He did tell me he got a bad knee, but he still did it anyway. What a fantastic job. I spent a lot of time teaching you that. This is the local artist, sponsored by Stoke-on-Trent College. We're going to get the community crew from Six Towns Radio up, so give them a round of applause. Thank you for presenting, and let us know who the local artist of 2011 was. Still in the bar. Excuse me, but what are you doing here? And he looks and says, I wish you'd told that guy to go on where I'm going. <laughs> anyway, we're here tonight to present the Local Artist Award, which I'm delighted this year, or 2011, goes to Rob Poynton. They, uh, like uh, Art Bay that are also in tonight, Alan and Cheryl, who you saw earlier, um, these local galleries are giving uh, us local artists the kind of platform to uh, keep painting and, and selling and luckily making a career out of doing what we love. So uh, uh, thanks to them. Thank you. Trent. I've been self-employed for coming up to four years now, based in Burslem, uh, uh, living and working from uh, the Live Work scheme run by Midland Heart that um, provides uh, accommodation and workspace for startup creative businesses. Um, this is a great foundation to work from because there's, there's plenty of like-minded people in similar industries like uh, working together in the local area. Um, there's two main strands to my business. I'm a figurative artist, uh, producing and selling artworks, and I'm also uh, an animator. And together with my partner, we run a Big Red Studio, uh, animation studio. Uh, 
Firstly, my painting though. Um, I, I studied in uh, Aberystwyth in Wales, fine art, and later at Princess Drawing School in London. I've always been fascinated, well, I've always uh, enjoyed drawing from um, and, and painting from uh, observation, so uh, I, I do a lot of work um, in live classes or out on the streets or um, uh, in busy uh, railway stations or uh, kind of community events and things where I'll, I'll produce an artwork um, alive if you like. Uh, I, I don't like kind of uh, painting from photographs or anything like that. I like to try and capture the uh, atmosphere of the life around me at that particular point. Uh, this work uh, is really gathering momentum and I'm trying to build a, a more national reputation. Uh, I've got quite, quite a good name locally but I'm trying to build it more nationally. Uh, I'm doing work in Scotland and uh, uh, France quite regularly. Um, trying to stock uh, galleries uh, further afield. Uh, I've been lucky enough to paint to a lot of portraits of uh, local people. Um, we've got Gordon Banks, uh, Tony Poulis, um, Nick Hancock in an oat cake shop, uh, Joan Wally watching a Port Vale game. Um, I, I really enjoy portraiture as well as uh, these landscapes. Uh, it's it's great to um, uh, it's great to try and uh, capture the essence of another person uh, within a painting. Uh, Probably the biggest one of uh, the biggest portrait I've done, and the biggest painting, incidentally, I've done, uh, is a 24 foot by 6 foot uh, oil painting of all the members of Stoke on Trent Council. Uh, this was commissioned to mark the centenary celebrations of 2010, uh, the, the centenary of the Federation of Stoke on Trent, and the uh, the painting now hangs in the uh, council chamber. It's a view of the council chamber with the council in full session and I had each um, member of the council pose for me individually within the room. It was all produced on location within the room. Um, I was honoured um, that at the, at the close, once it was finished, uh, the painting was uh, unveiled by uh, His Royal Highness Prince of Wales uh, when um, he visited the city uh, to mark the uh, the centenary of the Federation. Uh, another, another interesting painting I'm working on um, recently is, uh, is it's a triptych for, uh, which is a series of three paintings for the Upper House Hotel and Restaurant in Barlaston. As well as the painting though we also have the, uh, the animation side of the business, uh, Big Red Studio. The animation side of things started when I stopped working with uh, my partner Karen and um, she, she's uh, done an animation degree at Staffordshire University and uh, she was able to bring along the means to get my uh, artwork moving. Uh, so we started to have uh, evolving and then slowly moving oil paintings. And this was uh, because of the interest, my natural interest in movement within artworks, it, this uh, really kind of uh, excited me and it's led to a lot of uh, um, further work. This includes a uh, promotional video for the, um, the wrestling icon Kendo Nagasaki, uh, who's, who's unbelievably still wrestling late into his career. Um, uh, we uh, produced this animating uh, emulsion paint uh, directly on the walls of the cellar of his abandoned mansion, which was an interesting couple of months. Uh, last year, in 2000. Uh, 10, we, uh, we were lucky enough to work with uh, the uh, Northern Broadside Theatre Production Company and the Dukes Theatre in Lancaster in their co-production of George Orwell's 1984. Uh, they commissioned us to produce a series of uh, on, uh, visuals to be uh, screened on stage uh, with actors interacting with them uh, throughout the whole of the uh, 1984 play. Um, which was a fabulous experience, working experience for us. Uh, th this production was great for getting our work seen uh, further afield as well as uh, it toured around the country.